It's a fly love song. To the effect of nothing, effective fronting is what I don't allow, so let me tell you something. Alright, what's up everybody? Today I'm going to be showing you how to burn Wii games on your Mac. And uh, sorry about it, I haven't been on in a while, but I've been really lazy. I'm going to do two videos. One, I'm going to show you how to burn Wii games. And then the other one, I'm going to show you how to soft mod the Wii. I know I'm doing it backwards, but whatever. Alright, so first, download we go to... Uh, your internet browser and there's two ways of doing it. You can either torrent the video, the games and uh, you can go to Demonoid or if you don't have that you can go to uh, isohunt.com then type in the name of the game you want, I'll put in Naruto and then put Wii afterwards so you know it's a Wii game and then uh, choose from the list now if you go right here, the more the cedars the faster your download will be, and the more the leechers, the slower your download will be. And that's the main reason that I don't like downloading from Torrent because it takes like a day, and you know it varies, but it takes a, a while. It takes a long time. There's other websites you can go to that are like specially made for it, for uh, Wii games. But I like the second way the best. Now the second way, instead of downloading Torrent, you just download them with the links. So I'm gonna go to this link, weso.com, and this is a really good place to download Wii games. Uh, this is pretty much all I use. Now you can download Wii games from the normal Weso, but I go to this user because his games, the links are pretty short, like one. If you go to the normal Weso, then it's just gonna be like 16 links and it's gonna take forever. So here he has all the games, he has the pictures. Then you click on show and he has the links to the game. What you do is copy the link, then open a new page and paste the link. And then it's gonna take you to this. Now the bad thing about this is that there's a certain limit to how many downloads you can do. So you, may, you won't be able to download the whole game right away. But the good thing, is um, if you have Firefox you can download an add-on and it's down here it's called skip screen and what it does is that you don't have to there's no limit on when you download from mega upload now here let me show you what it is and you don't need to wait either so you see it just takes you right away and then and then you don't even need to wait so you have unlimited downloads when you go to mega upload so you just click OK and it's gonna start downloading and then you're gonna do that for all of all all the links that are on the page so this one only has two anyways so I already got one of the games downloaded it's called the blob and then what you wanna do after you download all the links is put them in a folder and then you're gonna it's gonna look like this and then just click on the first one double click on it and it's going to start expanding it. And after you expand it, it's going to come up with the ISO right here. And uh, after that, you're pretty much done. All you got to do is um, put it into a disc now. And uh, the disc you need is DVD minus R. You can use other ones, but this is the best one. DVD minus R is the best. It always works. So what you're going to do is you're going to put the disc in. And then you just wait until it loads. Alright, so after it loads, you're just going to click OK. And then you're going to go to your ISO. Every ISO, or most all of them, they're going to be 4.7 gigs. Like, pretty much all of them are going to be like that. So you, you want to make sure that it's 4.7 and that you haven't done anything wrong or anything. Then you're just going to right click, then put Open With, and then Disk Utility. After that, you go to the name of the the ISO, you click on it, then you go up here to burn and click it and then you're ready to burn. What You gotta change a few things. First, you don't want it on maximum, you want it on 4 or 2. I use 4 because it's a little better. See, if you put it on 8, when you play a game it's gonna be all chubby and, you're, and you can't be playing it. Then click this Verify burn data, just unclick it because if you click it, 
it's gonna take twice as long to burn and if you're using DVD minus R you don't really need it but if you're using anything else than DVD minus R then I recommend you do click it and then you just click burn and it's gonna start burning and then after that you're pretty much done that city just let it burn and that's it it's over what I re do recommend is that right as it starts burning do not move the computer at all like because if you do then it's just gonna the CD is just gonna get fucked up and it's gonna scratch and that's just something you don't want to do and after you burn it you can if you have soft mode at your Wii which I'm gonna show you in the next Wii, in the next video you just put it in and that's it and uh, thanks for watching my videos subscribe and uh, watch out for my next video on how to solve mod weekends I don't know when I'm gonna make it but I'm sure it'll be soon so subscribe so you can know when it's gonna happen